Alright, so today I got the random urge to install the Perrin drift button. Now the only thing I want to check here, blah blah blah, normal thread. Okay, so you just unscrew it. Um, <clears throat> do, do, do. And if you want to use it as a drift button, you do not retain the factory spring. The only problem is, is that this is kind of a pain in the butt to do, so we're going to put the car in gear so it doesn't roll. Okay. And then they say the first couple turns are going to be like extremely hard to do. And basically it is almost impossible not to ruin your factory button, but I'm not worried in the slightest about my factory <sighs> factory button, except that this thing apparently is a piece of crap. Okay. Learn something new. So you know, if you're worried about ruining your factory button, then this is probably isn't something you want to do because basically very, very few people have ever been able to get this off without um, messing this button up. And I'm sure you could buy a new one for not much money. They also said it's really hard to unscrew pretty much the whole way. I'm assuming that's because they don't want this to ever come out, so it's got some kind of locking threads or thread lock or nylock or something but anyway we're just gonna screw it out Yeah, it is being a pain in the butt. <laughs> pain in the butt. Ooh, kinda scratched up my e-brake handle a little bit. A lot, a little a lot. <laughs> oh well, doesn't really matter. It's just an e-brake. Just keep on screwing. Unscrewing as much as we can. Damn, this thing is in there good. Fortunately, we still haven't found anywhere that we can practice drifting legally. Um, we think we know someone who can help us out, but we've been so busy at work that haven't had a chance. Now the OEM spring, how the... <sighs> Ooh, yeah, I really fucked that up. How am I supposed to get the spring out? I just cut my nails, too, or my nails would have been able to do that. Come out of there. There we go. <sighs> get that cleaned out. See if I can kind of buff that. So we'll keep those for whatever reason. <sighs> Probably heat that up and reform the rubber. If I really wanted to, I really don't care. But anyway, so now take our drift button. It's got a nice little O-ring on it. And screw it back in. Ooh, it's kind of... Make sure those threads are in place. It's kind of tough to... I can't even tell if I'm... supposed to okay let's try that come on go on there there we go man that is some tough 
tough, tough threads. Unscrew side if you keep the button. If you choose it, then then screw the parent drift button down until it stops. So the question is, how do I know if it's threading correctly? Well. Pretty deep threads in there. I would assume that this can't tell if it's like threading in properly or not. It's definitely not threading in right. Threads look like they're tapped properly. <sighs> it seems like I'm. Yeah, see, it just doesn't want to go on. That's all the way on. We shouldn't be able to see that seal. I don't understand that. And then you pop it out and e brake. The only thing is. I definitely don't think that's screwing in properly. <laughs> yeah, there's like some kind of shit on the screw threads. It looks like they're preventing it from... Definitely something on those threads. So I can get it off. Probably what the glue or the Loctite or whatever was making the original button hard to get off. This is supposed to be an easy install. This is kind of sad that I can't do this properly. the thread and see if we can seat it better there we go all right now it's screwing in properly there we go okay so it was whatever that fucking gunky plasticky shit was I knew something was wrong all right so we pop it out and keep screwing it in until it stops there it goes, farther and farther down. <sighs> kind of sucks the parent logo is not visible, but I guess it'd be hard to get it lined up right. <sighs> yeah, that's definitely. Definitely the end of the line. All right, so we figured out some kind of weird glue, plasticky shit that was preventing it from threading in. So now we got, bam, drift button. And then just pop it up. 
and that's not much play. How reliable is that though? I guess I guess the e-brake's not going anywhere. And you can't really push it down easy while the e-brake's engaged, so. God, my car's filthy, filthy mess. Ugh, what is that? Anyway, all right, so. Drift button! <laughs> Uh-oh, it caught. Hmm. That might be a problem. I guess, well, you can hold it down, but that's the whole point is that you don't want to have to put your thumb there. Hmm. Eh, I'm sure it'll wear in. All right, anyway, we do not want my car going anywhere. Okay. See you guys next time. <laughs>